Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to boost FPS in Apex Legends. As you can see here I managed to boost my FPS from 90 to almost 200 FPS. So believe me, if you watch this video until the end I will help you to increase FPS and fix lag in Apex Legends. Before we start, please drop a like on this video if this video is helpful. Subscribe to my channel, it is free and you can always unsubscribe later. But trust me, I upload many useful videos on this channel. So we will first optimize windows for this game and later we will optimize the game. Open settings. Click gaming. Now turn off Xbox game bar and click game mode. Now turn it on. Now click graphics settings and first turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This will reduce latency and increase performance. Now click browse and find where your game is installed. Select it and click add. Click options and select high performance. Now search for Apex. Right click and click open file location. Now again right click on Apex and select properties. Now click open file location. Right click, properties, select compatibility tab, check disable full screen optimizations, click change high DPI settings. Now check override high DPI scaling behavior, click ok, apply, ok. Now we will adjust windows for best performance. Type system settings. Select advanced tab, click settings, select adjust for best performance and check show thumbnails instead of icons. Press apply, ok, ok. We will change the power plan now to get more performance. Open control panel, select power options, click show additional plans, you should see here high performance power plan, select high performance power plan. Now we will download intelligent standby list cleaner, you can find the link down in the description. This program will free up your RAM memory and it will reduce the latency. Now scroll down and you will see the download button. Extract the program and then you can open it. We need to make some adjustments now. The list size is at least, here you want to type 1024. Free memory is lower than, you should set this to half of your RAM memory. You can see here your RAM memory, so for example, I have 16 gigs of RAM, so half of that is 8 gigs. And I will type here 8196. Now check enable custom timer resolution. Want the timer resolution? Set this to 0 0.50. Set polling rate to 1000. Now click start and minimize the program. You should keep this program minimized while you're playing any game. Now we will adjust in-game settings for best performance and for best FPS possible. Open settings and select video tab. Display mode. You want to make sure to set this to full screen. It is important and it will give you best FPS possible. Aspect Ratio. You should set this to native, but if you want, you can change Aspect Ratio. Maybe you could get few FPS more. Resolution. Again, set this to native, but you can go with lower resolution if you have really low-end PC. Field of View. In my opinion, 90 is the best and don't go with more than 90. Of course, you can go lower for more FPS. Sprint View Shake. Set this to minimal. Vsync. You must disable vSync. Adaptive resolution FPS target set this to 0. 
anti-aliasing. Select none. Texture streaming budget and texture filtering. You will adjust this by following your VRAM. For example, if you have GPU with 4 gigs of VRAM, you will set this to high. If you don't have really good GPU, just set this to low for best results. Ambient occlusion quality disabled. Sun shadow coverage low. Sun shadow detail low. Spot shadow detail disabled. Volumetric lighting disabled. Dynamic spot shadows disabled. Model detail low. Effects details low. Impact marks disabled. Ragdolls low. Now you can just click apply and you are ready to go. That's it for this video guys, really hope that I helped you with this one. If so, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you don't miss any future video. Thanks and see you in the next one. Bye.